Hello and welcome to City Newsroom on City TV. I am Umaru Sandamado. Tonight, I'm here with... Femme Dunyame. Coming up, the Eastern Region Police have shot and injured some four farmers at New Ebrim in the Eastern Region. They were demonstrating against the operations of Newmont Company Limited in that area. Now, fears of a health disaster loom in Sunyani in the Bunahap region as workers of waste management company Zoom Lion embark on a strike. Also, editor-in-chief of the New Crusading Guide uh, newspaper, that's Abdul Malik Kwekubaku Jr. drags a since central member of parliament, Kennedy Japong, to court. We'll be asking why. And today is World Food Day, and as nations rally around to address the issue of poverty and hunger, we examine policies that need to be implemented by governments across the globe to end poverty and hunger. There are more coming up on the city newsroom. But let's settle for details of the story. A number of farmers in New Ibrahim in the eastern region have sustained gunshot wounds after a shootout with mining firm Newmont Achim Mines. Now, this shootout was rather by the police. Mm. Now, the incident occurred during a protest by farmers over compensation packages paid out by the mining company following the takeover of their lands. A farmer spoke to City News. Now, a spoken member of parliament for Asin Central Kennedy, Japan, would have to cough up a sum of 25 million Ghana cities if found guilty of defamation in a case filed against him by the editor in chief of the Crusading Guide newspaper, Abdul Malik Kwekubaku Jr. Now, Kwekubaku, in his suit, complained that Mr. A.J. Pong in July 2018 made some defamatory comments against him on some radio stations. Mr. Baku said the MP accused him of being corrupt, being a hypocrite, dishonest, among others. Now, aside from demanding 25 million Ghana cities in general damages from the MP, Kweku Bako also wants the court to order Kennedy Japan to retract such utterances and render an unqualified apology to him. Now, workers of waste management company Zoom Lion in Sunyani, municipality of the Bonaf region, are currently on a strike to press home their demands for accrued salaries. City News' Michael Mfun Sapong has more. The Zoom Lion workers, who are mostly women, numbering about 100, have resolved not to work until they are paid their locked-up salaries. According to them, they have worked for the past eight months without a pay. The agreed workers noted that all efforts put in to get their salaries have been fruitless. They revolt they are paid 100 CDs per month, which they describe as woeful. Life, they say, has become extremely difficult for them since. Some of the aggrieved workers spoke to City News. The Food and Drugs Authority has called on farmers to observe best practices to produce healthy food for the country. This comes off the back of Ghana's celebration of World Food Day today. Each year, the day is set aside to tackle global hunger by promoting food security across the world. Ne Ama Ama has more in the following report. The second sustainable development goal seeks to end all forms of hunger and malnutrition by 2030. But unfortunately, hunger remains a major barrier to development in Africa. According to the United Nations Development Programme, one in nine persons in the world is undernourished. That's 795 million people. Over the years, attention has been given to making food readily available to the masses. However, the Food and Drugs Authority says more must be done to also make food on the market safe for consumption. We are looking at the availability of the food all year round at every time when it is, every place where it is needed, that is affordability. And then um, availability and it being affordable, but most importantly, that food 
must be safe. Now, moving on, an outbreak of a waterborne disease looms at Atibu in the Atibu Amante municipality of the Bunahafu region as the activities of the residents continue to pollute the Tusa River in the community. City News' Michael Saponufum visited the community and has come through with this report. Atebubu, a major farming hub in the Atebubu Amantin municipality of the Brown Half region, has a population of about 20,000. Potable water is a major problem in the Atebubu community, especially in the dry season. Despite this challenge, the residents are not taking good care of the Tuse River, which is the only major source of drinking water in the community. Tuse River becomes the only source of water in the area, especially during the dry season. The attitude of some of the residents is polluting the river as they defecate on the banks of the Tuse River. Over a dozen people died in the community from cholera in 2016. The principal of Tamale School of Hygiene has bemoaned the institution's deplorable state, which he says requires government's immediate attention. According to Belu Seu, the school has never witnessed any major facelift since its establishment as Northern Ghana's premier hygiene school. As a nation that is inundated by sanitation, water, and hygiene challenges, the Tamale School of Hygiene, that of Accra and Ho, are the three schools of hygiene training sanitary inspectors in our country. Currently, with a student population of 360, the Tamale School of Hygiene can boast of only a two-story building hostel facility. The hostel facility can best be described as a death trap, which, according to the school authorities, requires agent rehabilitation. There is congestion in the two-story building hostel facility where the students are packed like sardines. 